Let's see if we get lucky with both of them. That looks like a red fox over there. We still haven't shot a red fox. Whoa! Nessie! How's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Hub. I tell you what, lots of people have been asking about this game and I keep saying, you know, my goodness, I don't know how much more there is to it. I've, I've done quite a bit, um, but I tell you what, one of the things I just thought, you know what, let's just make it easy on ourselves. Let's just start over from square one. We'll, uh, we'll start a new game, Hunting Simulator 2. And uh, now that I already have played it, you know, it might be fun trying to do our own little thing, you know, make little quests for ourselves. And uh, we'll just, you know, play it as we go. Get new weapons and everything like that. Maybe it'll turn into somewhat of a guide, even though it's a pretty straightforward game. Um, but let's just, let's just go for it. Here we go. Starting with the male, of course. He looks uh, just like me. Character customization. Boom. It's there. Rise Not really. and shine. Big day. Time for you to participate in your first hunt. I'll be guiding you from a distance and giving out some tips as you go. <clears throat> Ready to take on the... Okay, then. Let's get started, shall we? Would you mind stepping out of your cabin and taking in that fresh scent of nature? All right. I know that a lot of you have already seen this probably a bazillion times. If you don't want to watch it, I'm going to probably edit in something, something over, over here, over here, over, over here. Something that will tell you when to go in the video and uh, know when to skip forward to skip this whole tutorial. If not, feel free to continue uh, watching. Um, we're going to get our dog, I'm assuming. There should be some tracks nearby. Walk around a little, you should be able to find some. First track. Now, you're gonna have to analyze this track if you want to know what kind of animal we're hunting today. Oh, oh, oh. The we still haven't changed that. That is so strange. That it seems we're still in the European area, but for some reason we're still hunting the white-tailed deer for the tutorial animal, which seems a little, uh, a little strange to me. Turn into the cabin. I'll get you the right license and weapon for when you get there. All right. We really need to mark this. Goodness gracious, okay. We did it. Okay, I think you're ready to go hunt that white tail now. Oh wait, before you head out, I got you a little surprise. That's right. Oh, it's your very the own Orn too. Why don't I've you missed you. Give the dog a name. My goodness, it's been too long, Bjorn. Too. That's an awesome name. It's an awesome name. My old border collie. <laughs> my old border collie, Let's Timothy Three. Check your map to find the marker you placed. That's okay. I don't need it. Come on, Bjorn. Two. There we go. Dog found the track. Oh, we did. Okay. Good job. Hey, you should praise them for doing a good job. This will increase their drive and make Such them more job. obedient. Now that you have your dog with you, you can instruct Such them a good to follow dog. A trail from this track. The dog is following a trail. They'll go to the next track and wait for your next instructions. Give it a try. What a good dog. What a good dog. Go on. I tell you what, all of you who are part of the BZ Hub Discord and you post pictures of your pets in the Discord absolutely love it. I am a sucker for pets. I just, I love them. I love seeing them. I don't, I don't have any, I don't lose any pride in raising my voice up to a super high level when I talk to other people's dogs. I just get super excited. <laughs> Anywho, we, uh, our dog Bjorn 2 is on the trail right now. Let's go. Let's go Bjorn 2. All right, Bjorn 2. I'm going to get up in this stand. You just take your time there, pal. Now all you have to do is climb into it. There you go. Now that you're in a stand, it's time to play the waiting game. You don't have to wait in the stand, but it gives you a nice vantage point. It makes you less noticeable. 
Okay, well, we're here now. We're just going to wait for prey. Instinct is telling me something good is about to happen. There, a white-tailed deer. Don't shoot it just yet. You need to carefully plan your shot. Take a deep breath and aim for its vital organs. Such an interesting colored deer. Wait for it. Wait for it. What a shot! What a shot! Get out of the stand. Go find the blood trail. It's of course going on the uh, the campaign. Come on, Bjorn too. We gotta go. Oh God! You did so good sitting under the stand like you did. Well done. All right, let's go. Let's go. Go find the blood. So you will see, I, I hear this all the time. Can you take off the indicators? Companion marker, stamina bar, hit marker. Oh, you can turn off the hit marker. So there you go. You can turn off the hit marker. You can turn off spotted animals um, so that you, you can just make it as as realistic as you want. Evidently, you can make it as, as realistic as you want. You can even... Um, you can even put a marker on there so that you know where the dead prey is. So that could come, come in handy as well. I'm going to go ahead and change these because I'm a dumb American and I'm better off with with this. So we're just going to take that as it, as it is and uh, I'm just going to continue playing the game as it is. Um, a lot of you I know don't like the hit marker, but you know, off, Fitz, but there should be a blood trail where it's you whatever. Shot it. Okay. Should be a blood trail where you well, shot it. Now, just follow go. it. Or have the dog trade. Oh, I see the blood now. I see the blood now. I don't see the blood now. Oh, there it is. Well, Bjorn 2 is on the trail, but Bjorn 2 is going to take a little bit, so we're just going to follow the blood. I mean, we all know where it is anyway. It's in the same place every single time. But, you know. You know how it is. Too far now. There it is. You did it. All you have to do now is bag it, bring it on back to the cabin. Ooh, uh, now that's a buck right there. A nice European whitetail. That's what I like to see. Bjorn 2 is getting there, by golly. We shot it in the heart and the lungs and the stomach. Try that. Try to do that, bro. Let's head back. You can use your map if you're lost. Well done, Bjorn. Bjorn 2. All right. Let's head back to the lodge, shall we? I'm going to speed through this so that you don't have to watch it. Whoa! Wait, did you hear that? It seems there's another animal nearby. It sounds like it's a moose, but you don't have a license for it, which means you won't be able to hunt it. It always pays to get multiple... It's only 55 yards away, though. So you can hunt more than one animal type at a time. Anyways, let's get back to that cabin. <laughs> anyway... I was definitely not 55 yards away. Just saying. Even if it was running while he was talking, I still feel like we would have saw it. Boom! Uh, let's keep him. He's a good sized whitetail. I think you're ready for your first solo hunt. I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself and be patient. Now. Go back to your lodge. You're ready. I'm ready. Um, so cool. I mean, I, I'm still thrown off well, by these pictures. Lodge. Here you can set up for your hunts. Yeah, we know. Okay, so top notch. We all know this. I mean, this is the white tail. We uh, we pretty much know where everything is supposed to be. But uh, yeah, this is a great looking lodge. I think so anyway. I love the uh, the focal length. The uh, perspective of the character, too. It really makes me feel like I am inside here. Look at our empty gun library, too. The Azure Luge. Just chilling out there. We probably have to go uh, check out this computer. 
There's our licenses. Oh, here's our infinite license. We all learned this, didn't we? We all learned this one. Top notch. So we got our infinite license, which is, of course, the cougar. You should probably do that if you just want to make your life a little easier. Um, let's go ahead and get the duck license and the goose license as well. I, you know, honestly, depending upon how much money we have, um, we should probably just get one of everything. Um, black bear, grizzly bear, I don't think we have to worry about that so far. Mule deer and whitetail, not worried about that as well. We're mostly just worried about things we're going to find on the Pawnee Meadows area. So we'll go ahead and get rabbits. Um, a hare versus a rabbit um, and a bobcat. That's going to be most of the stuff we're going to find in Pawnee Meadows. Now we do get the XPR composite, I guess, is what I saw. Um, I am interested to see... If that is, let's see, my God, there we go, XPR composite, and we got it in 243, which is going to be fine. The 243 is one of, if not the best rifles you can use in this game. It's just a good blend of uh, animals that are around that smaller size. The 243 is going to be the most powerful um, caliber you, you can use for those. So it's a hard hitting bullet, especially for uh, smaller animals. Um, so that's that's pretty great. 243 is good until we can buy something that's more fun anyway. Um, tell you what though, I'm going to look at clothing because having a backpack where you can carry an additional weapon is pretty huge in this game. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this. It took a chunk out of our, uh, our funds, but I think it's going to really come in handy. Um, what should we get now? I'm thinking... We could go ahead and buy something crazy, like one of these uh, 308s here. Um, but we need something where we can hunt elk, is the darn thing. That would be the best way to go about it. Um, and I don't know if I should just save right now. I'm thinking we should. I'm thinking we should save for right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and just buy the uh, best, uh, the largest scope I can get. And uh, I, like, I like the simple scopes. You know, feel free to get whatever you want if you want one of those mill dot scopes. The problem is that, you know, when you get something like this, you want to use the lines for, uh, you know, how far out you should aim. But that doesn't work in this game, so there's really no point to getting it, um, unfortunately, you know. So let's go. We got our scope. Let's uh, do our load out here. Select our backpack. This one, of course. Select our weapon. This and the 243. We're going to select our scope, the six there. And we have another room for um, another weapon. But uh, we just, we're not at the moment. Let's go ahead and go to Pawnee Meadows. I think for this video, what we're working on right now, I think what would be really nice is if we just try and attempt to get one of every animal on Pawnee Meadows um, for the lodge and just in general, I think would be pretty a pretty good goal. So uh, there's some elk already in front of the, uh, in front of the old cabin here. Uh, we could hunt those if we would have bought a, uh, another rifle that would have been larger, but I tell you what, we don't have one at the moment. So, uh, without any uh, new, or without any campsites around the area, we're also going to be roughing it, so we better uh, get on the road here. There is no road. We're off-roading. Get on the off-road today. It's kind of interesting. I am used to always having binoculars to be able to look out further and uh, see if there's any animals around here. So, uh... You know, when you miss something like that, you always know it's a, it's a, it's something you should probably go buy. What up, you dumb elk? Go run, run away, run away, you elk! I think this is too big for this caliber as well. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yes, please. There we go. There we go. Guess I am too low that first time. You know, if we're getting a vital hit on this cougar, it did run a long way. Well, I see a cougar. I think it's down. Top notch, our first cougar. How about that? It's gonna suck if this is a mature. Nope, it's an adult. Oh, well, we shot it in the stomach. Okay, that makes sense why it ran so far. I wouldn't call that a vital hit. I mean, I realize that, like, in the westerns, if you got shot in the stomach, you'd probably die. But on animal, I really wouldn't call a stomach shot a vital shot. Know what I mean? 
know what I mean? The cool thing about us getting the unlimited tag for the mountain lion is that, um, you know, if you ever shoot a mature, especially in the very beginning, um, if you ever shoot a mature of a large animal, you're going to miss out on a lot of money. Um, obviously, but now because we have the multi tags, um, we can pick up this mountain lion and we can, uh, just keep on going. There's a mature coyote. We'll be able to keep him and put him in the lodge. Um, and that will be one down there. We'll try to get a mature of every species in the lodge, which will be our main goal. Um, overall, you know, I'd love to end the game with a mature of every species in the lodge. So we're going to make this a little bit of a series here. Um, and we're not going to stop until we get a mature of every species in the lodge. Okay. Have I said that enough? Mature of every species in the lodge. Mature of every species in the lodge. In the lodge, a mature of every species in the lodge. So that's going to be the goal anyway. Okay. We got our tent here. Top notch tent down. Don't need to fast travel. No, thank you. I'm looking out. Ooh, 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 ooh. We have yet another mountain lion over here. You know, one thing I have learned playing this game um, is that the calls are a lot better than I ever thought they would be. The calls actually do quite a bit in this game. If you're playing without using the calls right now, go ahead and buy some calls and just start using them because they really are nice, especially in the very wooded areas. Um, it's really nice to be able to use a deer call and then just, ha you know, have uh, all the deer make noise around you so you know where they are. We're getting closer to it, but uh, that's probably not that great of a thing. It's going to attack us. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cougar, don't attack us. We're very frail. Just, just, I'm just skin and bones. Don't you see me? Don't you see me? I'm skin and bones. I have I have no meat whatsoever. That's a lie. I eat way too much food to be skin and bones. All right, we are like right next to this cougar. Honestly, at this point, I'm just wanting to scare it out of here so that we can get a chance to get a shot on it. Oh, coyote. Which way? If you were a cougar, which way would you run? That way? Ooh, a bobcat as well. Couple of bighorn over there. That's one of my favorite areas to hunt the uh, mountain lions as well. Look at this uh, good sized bobcat here. That's an adult. Okay. That'll work. Still one down. I think we chose the wrong side to uh, go on to look for that cougar. In the future, if we can get like a predator call or something of the sort, we'll be able to use that to call the cougar to us and t instead of trying to scare it out, you know. All right, found another campsite here. Still don't see that cougar, but maybe if we get over this hill, we'll see a different one. Because this is usually a good spot to hunt cougars or mountain lions. Whatever you like calling them. He's down. Didn't do a wounded walk or anything. Boom. Get rexed. Holy shoot. What the frick was that? Where did it go? Oh. Oh, he scared up a turkey. My God, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> well, see, and I wondered. I thought, well, should I buy... Should I buy shotgun? This one looks pretty small. I'll be interested to see. It's a young one. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let's uh go back to the... Well, I might stop at that tent real quick to see if there's another mountain lion over there. Otherwise, we'll go to the cabin to see if the mountain lion went that way. No freaking way, man. Did we drop it? We dropped him. We dropped him in place. There. Looks like it could be another young one here. Yep. Did get a hard shot though. That works out. Okay. We are sitting pretty. For someone who's played 
uh, 32 minutes, including the tutorial, we are sitting pretty, as far as our financials are concerned, we are sitting pretty well. The life of a professional hunter seems to be looking pretty okay at the moment. I think for now, I think we're going to head back to the cabin. Let's claim these animals. Um, these were both young ones, I want to say. Now we did get, this was the, the adult one. So let's sell this one. Um, yeah, I want to say... Uh, what was this one? 7.3. Was it an adult too? Can't recall at the moment. We're gonna keep this guy. Gosh darn, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna, I tell you what, for now I'm just gonna keep this, this bobcat. I'm pretty darn sure it's an adult, but honestly just don't remember at the moment. And we're gonna sell those two. Let's go back to the lodge though. We can buy another rifle for elk hunting. Um, and then we'll also probably get, oh goodness, I don't know. I'm not sure at the moment. Um, so we have our whitetail over there. We have our, um, our bobcat up there and our coyote should be up there as well. I think can't jump, but it's up there as well. Let's go ahead and let's go this way over to here. We'll need to buy some bighorn licenses yes please yes please and then i tell you what we're gonna buy a new weapon that we can hunt um the elk with because that'll be that'll be nice this is a semi-automatic in 9.3 i don't really care f for all that i was kind of wondering if maybe a 22 was in here somewhere all right top notch we have the uh the 85 hunter by seiko which we just bought in 338 pretty classic um weapon looking looking weapon there i love it so we're gonna go ahead and do that we could go ahead and also buy um just for fun we could get uh, a 223 and this rex 7 and i'm also going to get another scope because we'll need another scope for our other rifle so which one should we get that's the question um with our options being what they are, I'm going to probably go with, um, probably this. Top notch. We should be sitting pretty, though I tell you what, I think I am going to go ahead and get Bjorn. I just like the darn yellow lap. He's just so bright and pretty. Bjorn 3. Yes, Bjorn 3. I love him. I love him already. He's my favorite. Bjorn 3 is the favorite digital dog. Um, because he's not going to replace Bjorn 2. That's just for dang sure. Let's take a look at the deer collars, elk collars, boar collars, moose collar, pheasant collar, short goose, short duck, long goose, long duck, predator collar. Mm, I like that. I like that. Let's do that. And a red deer collar. So top notch. That's good looking there. Yep, we got to put this on. I think we're all good there. We just need to equip our new rifle now. Let's go. Load out weapons. Weapon two. Um, actually, no, that's not the right weapon. <laughs> there we go. Still don't have any uh, any sort of. There. Actually, I think we should have the more military-looking one on that one. There we go. Top notch. We could also go ahead and uh, put an item in for the predator caller. I think we should also try to get some binoculars this next time out, but we should be able to now hunt elk, right? We have elk tags, just making sure, just making sure. Yes, we do. And we have bighorn and we'll get some feral hogs. And I think that should do. That should do for another hunt on Pawnee Meadows. Let's go back. We do need to switch out our, uh, our follower, our little, our companion, I suppose better switch out our companion because we're not gonna be able to do anything without bjorn three need to get bjorn three come on bjorn three we got things to do buddy yes look at him get over here bud what a good dog what a good dog he is a good dog oh old bjorn three Tell you what, this time around, I think we're going to run over this way so we can get our other tents. Our other tents on this side of the map that we're missing right now might be good to have that, um, especially, you know, here on Pawnee Meadows where it's so easy to just hop around from tent to tent 
and hunt all these different things. You know, I am halfway surprised that they left the uh, the unlimited license in the game. Um, I would have thought, by golly, that they would have taken it out once we uh, made so many comments about um, the cougars being so easy to farm here on Pawnee Meadows for uh, easy money. But, um, yeah. I guess they're just leaving it up to our morals to not do that, I suppose. There we go, campsite number three, and if we look across the way, we'll see campsite number four, just right over there. Piggies. What the frick was that? Doesn't have enough base. For a 338, you want it to, you want it to feel heavy. Ooh, big bullets, big bullets flying. It's a, uh, it's all right. There we go. One piggy down. Looks like a young one. Indeed. Let's go find this other one we shot twice. What is going on? I can't, I don't understand it. It was right to him. Yep, I'm guessing so. All right, well, while we're over here, we can get the tent. Campsite four of five found. And then if you, yep, you can look way over there. The other five of five campsite is over down that way. And that will be all of your campsites. I don't really want to run too far away from this campsite. <laughs> But you never know. I've run up on this spot over here and found like giant elk in this little valley and it all worked out. So who knows? There we go. Stick two bullets in the vital spot. Two bullets in the vitals. Come on elk. We got two bullets in the stomach I'm assuming based on this game, how it is. The game doesn't know where your bullet went. It's just gonna put it in the stomach. Is my joke. Top notch. Yeah. We all saw where that bullet hole was. Right behind the arm. Where it's supposed to be. Stomach shot. Let's uh, fast travel over to this tent first. See if there's a cougar nearby. Seem to get lucky with both of them. That looks like a red fox over there. We still haven't shot a red fox. Whoa! Nessie! Woohoohoohoo! What a shot on a freaking monster! Tried to lead him there. We did get a shot on him. There we got him. I just wanted to put him out of his misery at that point. There we got a good shot on that feral hog. Figured if we were already moving that way, we might as well... Might as well try to shoot that feral hog while we were over there. <laughs> this guy is big. He's a, he's a big one. And when I saw him, I thought, oh golly, I know we're over here to find a cougar. But uh, this guy is going on the wall, by golly. Top notch. This guy is a big one. Got him right in the right in the lungs. That's awesome. Okay, let's go pick up our third one and hopefully we'll get on the trail of that feral hog that we shot. Elk license complete. Where be this feral hog we shot? You, oh, you found the feral hog. How about that? This one looks a little bit bigger. <gasps> it's a mature. Nice. Down, down, down. Now we have a mature feral hog or boar, and we have a mature elk for the lodge. Dropped that fox. Here we go, our first fox. A good sized fox here. It's a mature fox. My God, we are just nailing him. 
Okay, mature feral hog, mature fox, mature elk. I think those are our three matures we've gotten today. So that is quite all right. I'm probably gonna go back to the cabin just to make sure I remember what our matures are. Top notch, what, what are we missing right now? We are missing, we've got a coyote, we've got a fox, we've got a feral hog or a boar, um, elk. We're missing a big horn, I guess. We've gotten many cougars and mountain lions. We need to get a big horn, we need to get a hare, a pheasant, a turkey, um, there's a couple of ducks and a couple of geese that we need to get as well. Um, and then I think that'll, that'll end up just being everything, I believe. I wanted to go over here just to see if we could see that cougar again. Too many shots! You don't know too many shots. I invented too many shots. This is a decent sized one. It's a mature! Top notch! My goodness gracious. We've done all right today. Top notch, we've got our, uh, our mature... I don't know. Looks awfully small up there, doesn't it? I'm not sure what that is now. See, because we shot a mature and we shot a young one. And I think we mounted the six... the six-year-old one, correct? Let's go check out our stuff up here. This is pretty much all Pawnee Meadows up here. So we have our Bobcat, um, we have our Coyote, nice Coyote there, and then we have our uh, good-sized Elk that we shot. Man, oh my. That's great. That was awesome. Not very realistic Elk, but still nice. Uh, we have our Mounted Dog here, Jay Kizzle, and then we have our Mature Mountain Lion slash Cougar. Ooh. Ooh. And, uh, and our mature fox. So top notch, we've got a lot of mature stuff. Um, I don't know, I don't remember if the bobcat was mature or not, but uh, we are looking pretty good right now. Let's do it, let's try something different here. Let's get one of these, a manual repeating shotgun. You'll see what it means by that. Um, we'll equip it. What weapon should we keep? The big one? Let's, uh, yeah, let's keep the big one. Let's swap this out with a shotgun here. Back to Pawnee Meadows, we need to get a, a rabbit, we need to get some ducks and some geese, and um, a turkey and pheasant if we can find them. Oh, Bjorn 3 is on a flush. He's out to flush things. Flushing time. Interesting. So we did get a command to flush. Well, good job there, Bjorn. What the heck? Did he just pick him up? It's a young turkey. How about that? He just he just uh, just brought it over to me, just like that. Boom, boom. Oh, what is that? Let's do it again. I know these aren't pheasants, but I wish they were. Bjorn, Bjorn three says, "I'm doing my job." I'm running, bro. This is what I do. Well, you got it again. You keep finding these, pal. Another male young turkey. I love how we're hunting turkeys like we would pheasants. Really wish there were pheasants. Goodness gracious. He's got it! He's got it! Hey, it worked out! We got a mature Ross's goose. How about that? No, we're out of freaking shells. Fetch. 
and bring it back. Okay, I tell you what, I think what might be a really good idea is once we get this guy, I think we might go back to the cabin and we might get a pheasant call. And from there, I think we'll go from 10 to 10 and just use the pheasant call and see if we hear any pheasant. If we do, I think we send, uh, the, the game plan will be to send Bjorn 3 out to find the pheasant and then we'll uh, hunt it kind of like we did the turkeys. I think that sounds like a good good go here's our uh, our white fronted goose here top notch that's gonna be pretty much all the goose the goose and ducks i believe okay we've got our pheasant caller now and now i think we go back to pawnee meadows and we're gonna go from tent to tent to tent and basically just uh right when we're right here where we are okay nothing here so we're gonna move on but i wish there was more pheasants is what i want you to take away from this But I wish there was more pheasants. But I wish. But I wish there was more. But I wish there was more pheasants. Is what I want you to take away from this. We actually did need a bighorn sheep, so that is one of the animals we were missing here. <laughs> like how I just changed what we were doing. Yeah, we're gonna look for pheasants, bighorn sheep. Boom. This looks like a mature. It's pretty big. Yeppers! Got a mature. Got a mature. Got a mature. Mounted it in the lodge. Last ditch effort to find pheasants. It is a fail. I tell you where I had a really good luck looking for pheasants, and that was in the Rocky Mountains. Fantastic map. Hopefully, we'll find some more pheasants there next time around. But here we go, back at the tent. Bjorn 3's happy. He's had a good day. Um, we're going to go to the cabin now to accept our animals. And then we'll end it in... Ooh, this was our mature. And that was an adult. And that was a mature. And that was a young, I want to say. Return to the lodge now. There you go. Our first episode, I mean, we shot everything in Pawnee Meadows, just not everything was a keeper. So you can see we've got a couple of things up there. We've got a couple of things on the wall over yonder. Big, big mature bighorn here, mature puma, mature uh, green winged teal, I suppose, and a fox. And uh, as you can see, we've got a ton of stuff already in the library. <laughs> so not true. We have one shotgun and uh, two rifles. Three rifles! Oh my gosh, I had more than I thought I did. Anywho, that's uh, that's gonna do it for episode one, everyone. I hope you enjoy, and uh, for those of you who have been really wanting to see more Hunting Simulator 2, hopefully this, uh, this series will do it for you as we uh, make our way to collecting mature of everything in the lodge. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful in any way, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you want to see more videos. And until next time, take care everyone, and as always, keep gaming, never stop. We got a mature, got a mature, mounted it in the lodge.